Hey guys, it's iPocket Touch, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak the iPod Touch 4th generation on firmware version 4.2.1. Note to self, this is a tethered jailbreak, so that basically means that anytime you reboot your iDevice, you have to plug it into the computer and boot back into tethered mode. But that's not an issue for me because I always I jailbreak, and then once I'm done jailbreaking, I boot into the tethered mode. And I never reboot my phone because it's always on. I'm always using it and I'm always charging and it never dies. Okay, so let's get on to the thing. Okay, poof. There you go. See it? 4.2.1. Okay, what you're going to need is two files. You're going to need the iPod 4th generation 4.2.1 restore file, as you can see. It's right there. I'll have a link in the bottom. Go download that right now. You're going to definitely need that file. And then once you're done downloading that, come back. And then you're going to need to download Red Snow 0.9.6 Beta 5. The link will be in the bottom board. Download that. Come back. Okay. Now that you got all that, go ahead and open up Red Snow. Well, before you open it, plug in your phone. I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. your iPod 4. Mm -hmm. Make sure it connects and all that. And then once it's connected, there you go. Once it's connected, just turn it off. Make sure I got a good connection. I'm gonna change USB connections just to make sure. Okay, there we go. I just had to change USB. Ah, I just turned on my phone with crap. Okay, well, got ready for this video. Okay, so what you wanna do is I'm I'm doing Red Snow 0.9.6 beta 5 due to the fact that it's just so much simpler. It just is. It just works. Different 0.9.6 always gave me this error, so I don't know why. So, if you go ahead, browse for that firmware file I told you to download, open that up, and then to process it, and then to identify it. And then just click next, and it's going to patch the kernel and let it patch. Do it, and let it do it the same. And just keep on waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change. And just leave those two things checked. Make sure your device is off. And click next. And then once you click next, follow the directions carefully. See? Make sure it's off and plugged in. Next. I'm doing these instructions. You can just follow. I don't like talking while I do this. Just that piece. Okay. Just keep holding it down. Mm -hmm. Try to exploit. Mm -hmm. Gonna upload mm -hmm. first stage. So reboot again. Mm -hmm. So upload RAM disk. And once it's upload, wait. Don't let go yet. Don't let go until. Mm -hmm. so keep holding on. Okay. You can let go once that comes up. Once you see crazy crap load of text show up on your screen, let go. Do not let go whenever that green upload RAM disk comes up. It will not work. I'm just letting you guys know that, okay? Do not let go until this freakish text. Don't let it go until it looks like your phone broke, okay? It's not a phone. It's an iPod Touch 4. But yeah, this will take like 20 seconds. Let it do its thing. And I don't click finish until my phone reboots. I don't know why. It's going to say moving applications, all that. I'm going to come back when all this is done. This process takes like five minutes. Okay, it's done. It passed that pineapple mm -hmm. thing. So it's rebooting mm -hmm. now. You can click finish out of that. Okay. Then once it reboots, I'm going to show you what you're going to do next. You're going to have to do a couple more things. Okay. There we go. I'm checking my passcode. I'm about to say my passcode out loud. Wow. Okay. As you see, you get a white city logo. If you go to click it, it's not going to open. See? Uh, uh. See? It won't open. Because you're not in tether mode. So what you're going to want to do now, after it does that, is turn your device off one last time. And then go back and open Red Snow. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then what you're going to do is browse the file for that firmware file. Click open. Then lid patch. Okay, click next to patch. Except this time when you go to select stuff, you don't have to select the just boot tether. See? Uncheck this, uncheck this, because you already jailed. Okay. Just click the just boot tether right now. And click next and then follow the same exact instructions. 
next. Do okay. Let this go. This doesn't take long, and then I'm see what happens. Okay. Hold up, 15 seconds. That went in 15 seconds. This isn't as long as the other. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do this. Go faster. Mm -hmm. Faster. Mm -hmm. And reboot. Mm -hmm. Upload kernel. Rebooting. Mm -hmm. Okay, once it says done, let go. And bam. You can get a pineapple. I'm sorry, Apple, but the pineapple looks so much cooler. Okay, this pineapple is going to show up. Look how beautiful and cool that looks. Ooh, pineapple. Okay. You are now booted up into tethered mode. So basically, mm -hmm. as long as you don't reboot, you're mm -hmm. fine. So I'm going to show you that. It's like 15 seconds to boot into tethered mode. Doesn't take long. Okay, okay, that's the passcode. Okay, now you can see City is no longer white. So you can go ahead, open that. It's an install file system. The whole process takes like 20 seconds. And another good thing is City and Rock like came together, so like City is now fast. It's not slow and retarded. So it's gonna exit when it completes. So basically. Um, I know after CD, after you install the update package, you have to reboot your phone. So basically, after you reboot your phone, just turn it off and go through that status of booting to tethered, and you're fine. You have now have a jailbroken iPod Touch 4th generation 4.2.1. See, that just respawned, so it's still in the pineapple mode. So, yeah. Let's just see. See, you came back. Uh -huh. If I go back to CD, it opens up, and there's CD. Use a hacker developer. I'm a user. I could use hacker, but I don't feel like it. I don't want to show my skills. Okay, so I download the release, all that. So you got it from there. Just whenever you reboot, just boot back into that tether mode like I showed you, and you're good to go. And you now have a jailbroken iPod Touch 4th generation of 4.2.1, and it also works on the iPhone 4 because I did the same exact jailbreak on my friends. So thanks for watching. If you haven't checked out my previous videos, Please go watch them. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. If you need any help, post a comment in the box below. And have a great day. Bye.